Good afternoon, beloved. So today's devotional from my More Than Conquerors book um, is on kindness and love for November 3rd. I read it and I'm like, oh man, this is really good. Let me share it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I really, really could use um, in the growing, in the kindness, gentleness, and love area. And only the Spirit of God can develop that, cultivate that in me. Amen. So I hope this will um, bring encouragement and build up your faith and um, inspire you and inspire me, inspire us to grow in the grace and in the love and kindness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So here's the word. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1 through 4. Love is kind. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4. Oregon described this kind of love as kind-hearted to everyone. Jerome called it the gentleness of love. Who's Jerome? <laughs> Who's Oregon? I'm not sure. Let me keep reading. There are many Christians who are good but not kind. A little girl once prayed, Lord Jesus, make all the bad people good and all the good people kind. Mm, that's good. That's really, really good. Really true. There was no man more devout than Philip II of Spain, and yet he instigated the Spanish Inquisition and thought that he was serving God by torturing and murdering people of different religious persuasions. According to Paul, there are spiritual cannibals among Christians who devour each other. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out, you will be destroyed by each other. Galatians 5.15 Love that is not tempered by kindness is not truly love. Christ attracted people to him not only through his love, but also through kindness, even towards tax collectors and prostitutes. Most modern day Christians would probably have chosen the side of the scribes and the church authorities rather than support Jesus in the case of the woman caught in adultery. Love is convincing only when it is accompanied by genuine kindness. Let me read that again. That's really good. Love is convincing only when it is accompanied by genuine kindness. Kind Lord Jesus, teach me the virtue of kindness as I emulate your way of life. Amen. The greatest thing a man can do for his heavenly father is to be kind to some of his other children. And that's Henry Drummond who said that. The greatest thing a man can do for his heavenly father is to be kind to some of his other children. I don't know about you guys, but me as a mama, when I see my sons mean to each other, like my older son, sometimes he picks on his um, little brother, the, the, my, young, my second son, it grieves my heart, it hurts my heart, it makes me very angry. But when I see them kind to each other and offering help and assistance and gentleness, uh, just loving, supportive spirit, Man, my heart just burst <laughs> with joy, with with just sheer um, ecstasy. Was just you know so oh, grateful and so happy. I cannot describe it. So that's how it is with Father God. I long to bless my sons when they're loving and grateful and thankful and gentle and kind to each other, to me, um, as opposed to when they're picking and bickering and um, tearing each other down. So I pray that this word blesses you and let us pursue kindness, genuine kindness. Amen. God bless you. I love you guys. Have a great weekend.